Hello. So, uh, Yoimi is back. Now, I know there's a lot of people who don't know if they should get Yoimi or not. But in this video, I'll be showing you guys why you should get her. There's certain someone who says that she is quote unquote mid and that you should skip her. We all know who I'm talking about. This one's tough because I haven't built one, okay? I haven't fully built one. I haven't seen it with my own eyes personally what she can do. All right, right, right. I know I'm shitting too much on them, Tesh. Now, he did say later on that she is good and has some of the best single target damage, which is, yeah, very true. Also, sorry, man, Tesh. I don't have anything against you. I know I've shouted you like two videos in a row now. XD, little confession time. I didn't actually own you and Mia before. Oops. But I did play with her a good amount of times on my friend's account. I do own her now. I pulled her like 15 minutes before I started recording. I don't have enough mats at the moment to get to 90 and raise the talents, so. I'm on my friend's account. Uh, she is C0. He did not see Sixer, which is, you know, good for this video. Uh, 985, because the ult is pretty much useless. No one uses the burst. Okay, now here's something my friend wanted me to show you guys. He's very proud of his artifacts. Now let's start off with the flower. It's a pretty good flower. Feather. The sounds. The goblet, though. That's juicy. And then, um, uh, pretty good, uh, circle. Pretty good circle. Um, uh, Here's the stats. This is with a R2 Skyward Harp. He doesn't have her weapon, but he does have the Aqua, which is pretty much the same, but I won't be using it in the video. I'm going to be mainly using the Rust at R5. Most of the people are not going to be pulling for her weapon and substitute with the Rust. The problem with Yumi's banner is the timing. Last time when she came out for the first time, a lot of people skipped her because people been saving for Raiden, which came right after Yumi's banner. And the same problem is happening right now. Ripono is after Yumi, and most people are going to skip. Let's just how it is people want to save their primo gems which is understandable all right so let's go test this out on the frog hello froggy how you doing pp yeah sorry for waking you up but i got a video to make i think that's pretty good now a little disclaimer i'm running the freedom sworn and uh c2 kazuha with a c2 yelan so your results may be a little bit different all right now i'm gonna try the same thing but with a rust the stats are gonna be a little bit different almost 70 crit rate that's a little bit less crit damage all right let's kill the frog again let's hit the yelan alt first this oh come on bro did I do more damage with the rust? Alright, so I'm gonna try a free run one more time. I'm gonna test it out on our test dummy over here. Get Yolan's burst first, and then we're gonna do like this. He's blocking, okay, good. And then. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I'm gonna try it again. I feel like I didn't do that good. I was all done with the rust, by the way. I'm gonna try the guy with harp again, see how that goes. Bro, okay. Alright, so I'm gonna try a little bit more of a free to play friendly team build or whatever the fuck. I'll pop this first. Pop. Sure. Yeah, I think that's still pretty good. Still pretty good. Try like this first. That's pretty good for a three-man build. There's no characters running VV. It's just better than Xing Shou and Yuemiya's main DPS. Here's a quick clip of Yuemiya with Aqua from the old Abyss. Also, Kazo is using the Iron Sting here. Still at C2 though, by the way. 
Hey, wait, wait, how much was that? 100, I saw 100. Oh, 200. You saw that? 194. Yes, I see 194. All right, so I'm going to do the abyss. I'm going to test you and me on every single floor. So I'm going to do first half first. And I'm going to be using the rust for the showcase because I think that's what most people want to see. Whoa, how much time was just that? Now it's time for second floor, or second half, I mean. I'm gonna end off the video by visiting our little cryo friend here. Go we'll visit. Good all one shot and then bombers. 106,000. Thank you for watching this video. And hopefully I showed you guys her damage pretty well and the potential that she has. And this is why you should pull for UAMIA. She's a very top tier pyro DPS. I hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And um yeah. Bye. I'm going to put her there because I don't like her.